Good morning, you guys. I had, I would say, the most painful evening of my entire pregnancy yesterday so far. Um, very painful. I feel as though someone may be pounding my spinal cord from the lower region, so the tailbone area with a rubber mallet upward, and also pounding from the top where my clavicle and my neck uh, meet my shoulders and my spinal column and pounding that down. And like I need like a chiropractic adjustment severely. Um, I am in so much pain from both sides of my hips and my tailbone. The cement that we're sleeping on is not helping and the pressure in front from the pregnancy um, is also you know making it difficult so um, what do you what would you do for something like that I'm not going to go to the hospital they're going to prescribe pain pills I don't take medication so I'm very sensitive to medicines um, the medication I was taking over the counter and said ibuprofen 200 milligrams alternated with acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, um, every four to six hours for four days for tooth pain resulted in a Mallory Wise tear where I was vomiting blood. Um, and I was treated at Gottlieb Hospital for that. Um, I don't want to take anything harder than that. And if I can't even tolerate an over the counter pain med, for me, you know, the answer is going to be marijuana or CBD. Um, there are there is a lot of judgment about it. I don't care. Um, you know, I have to do it. I have to do. I'm sleeping on concrete, um, you know, waking up five to six times a night on average in incredible pain. Um, and I, I'm not going to take an opiate. I'm not going to take, you know, a, a codeine or what's the other heavy pain med? Benzo. No, that thing's no. What? Okay, so then last announcement for the morning. I'm not going to go over everything. If you guys have not been here the whole time, you can go to the little live section. It's the center column of my Insta. Um, and there's a bunch of lives where I usually try to update on the situation um, as it currently stands. But there's a little clip on YouTube I highly recommend. I'm going to post it right here. You can click on it. Um, since I'm separated from my children and I experienced this BLM stuff firsthand, I mean, I was out here during the protests. I was watching people get pulled from their vehicles and businesses get overtaken. Um, I think this is a really great clip. PBS made it. They include children in their interview. Um, it's a great dialogue to have with your children to keep it light, but also be honest and open. And it's a, it's a really good starting point. Um, I highly recommend it. I also have to equally say that I agree with staying impartial um, and not siding with any one race. And this goes for any, every everyone, whether you are a black mother, a brown... And what I mean by that is we, we cannot support a culture of elitism. We cannot support a culture of you're white, so you're better. You're brown, so you're better. You're black, so you're better. You're white, so you're beautiful. You're black, so you're beautiful. You're brown, so you're beautiful. You're yellow or tan or peach, so you're beautiful. And the color of our skin is like down here on the list of reasons why we should be judging people. Um, the things we should judge them are how kind are they? How intelligent are they? What is their dedication and willingness to succeed in life? How open-minded can we be? And that doesn't mean, you know, taking advantage of others. That means trying to understand the perspective of another class, race, group, um, parenting dynamic, family, you know, homosexuality, queer and trans, uh, trans, all of these things. It's open-mindedness and, and the desire.